Welcome to a powwow. Powwows are celebrations where Native American peoples gather to dance, sing, and spend time together. Celebrating our traditions, meet three powwow dancers. My name is Tank Young. I am 12 years old. I am Cherokee Choctaw Apache in Taos Pueblo, and I live in Salamento, California. Hello, my name is Hayla Jishi. I am 13 years old. I live in Lucatica, Arizona. I am a member of the Navajo Nation tribe. My name is Mateo Ulibadi. I am from the Pueblo of Puaque, which is a Tewa tribe in northern New Mexico, and I hoop dance. Today, kids from many Native American nations come together to perform dances at powwows. Most powwows feature several styles of dances with different moves, regalia, and meanings. Some dances are only for people of a certain gender, age, or tribal nation. What kind of dancing do you do? Hoop dancing is a prayerful healing dance that originated in the pueblos of New Mexico. It was performed by medicine men who, for those who were out of balance physically, spiritually, or mentally. I usually use five or six hoops when I dance. I weave my hoops into many different designs and formations. Jingle dress dancing is a healing dance that is meant to bring joy to a lot of the spectators. And it is used to heal people that are hurting physically and emotionally. My favorite part of dancing jingle is the different footwork that I can use and like just the style of it on how graceful it is and how smooth it is and that's my favorite part about dancing jingle. Fancy dancing is more of a fast pace where they do fancy moves. So in the fancy dance competition, what the judges are mainly looking for is fancy moves and if you're in rhythm or in sync with the drum, and also at the end, if you stop on beat, which means you stop the second that the drum stops. In many Native American cultures, kids learn how to dance from older family members or elders in their community. And like any kind of dancing, getting better requires consistent practice. How did you learn to dance? From just watching people on YouTube or at powwows, I learn different types of moves from them and I do them in competitions or even I practice them at intertribals where everybody can dance at a powwow. Uh, I practice at the Oakland Intertribal Friendship House, which is uh, a place where we dance to different types of songs. When I would go to powwows, I would watch the woman's jingle. I learned a lot from a lot of my idols that I would watch. I would practice it over and over and over. Powwow dancers wear special clothes when they dance, called regalia. Each style of dance has its own kind of regalia. There's so much to do and see at a powwow. There's the dancing and singing, of course. But there are also delicious foods and vendors selling handmade arts and crafts. Many people travel long distances to powwow so they can see friends and family who live far away. Why do you like going to powwows? Powwows, to me, they bring a lot of joy to me. I get really excited when I when I'm going to a powwow, I get to see a lot of my friends that I don't usually see every day. And I get to dance to different drum groups. Powwows are important to my community, so we can see each other every once in a while to watch dancers. My favorite part of a powwow is hanging out with my friends and meeting different people, but mostly it's dancing. Why is continuing to dance and go to powwows important? Long ago, there was people that tried to take away our tradition and we couldn't let that happen. Well, it's important to keep like, passing on this tradition because if it's not passed on, it's forgotten. And when it's forgotten, to traditional dances, like, they never come back and you lose part of your culture. 
What should a visitor know if they go to a powwow? Powwows, they get a lot of visitors, and the most respectful things to do are not to touch anything, any of the regalia, any of the beadwork, the feathers, the outfits, and not to take pictures or videos without the person's permission or from the powwow's permission. Not to go out onto the arena when people are dancing. Powwows happen across the United States and Canada every weekend of the year. There's probably a powwow taking place near you. So, if you want to learn more about powwows and Native American cultures, stop on by. Who knows? You might even get to see Mateo, Tank, or Taylor. In my native language, there's no word for goodbye. So in that case, see you later. De you.